Ministry of Electricity and Energy will mark the 60th anniversary of NEXA, Safari One, or SA Fundamental Atomic Research Installations at Pelindaba outside Pretoria. The event will mark some of the major achievements, including its nuclear science capabilities. Among other things, the research reactor produces life-saving isotopes used in the diagnosis and treatment of cancer, making a significant impact on healthcare, both locally and internationally. Now, the event will be attended by nuclear scientists from across the country. SABC News reporter Katlejo Lukhodi is there, and uh, he's standing by with uh, the minister and other guests to talk about this. Uh, Katlejo, let me hand it over to you. Good morning. A very good morning to you, Lian, and to our viewers at home. Indeed, it's been 60 years of this cutting-edge technology in terms of the nuclear space, and today you find us here at Pelindaba. We are in the heart of the reactor this morning, uh, just getting a sense of the work that has been done uh, by Nexa, but also uh, this reactor over 60 years. And we're told, of course, that South Africa is a pioneer globally in the medical space where uh, these isotopes are concerned, and today you find various of those role players uh, just flocking into Pelindaba today uh, to mark this 60th anniversary. Earlier on, we were taking Lian on a tour just to get a sense of uh, how this facility work. And really, when you look at it visually, later on, we'll show you what is happening here in the hub of uh, this reactor. Uh, but we see those celebrations even from outside coming inside in terms of ensuring that this milestone is marked here. Here, uh, joined by various of those role players, various of entities within the nuclear space government here as well the private sector here as well, in terms of everything else that speaks nuclear. I'm going to invite into the conversation now Minister Hossian Soramokopa, who will give us a sense of government's role where some of these entities are concerned. We see Nexa really coming through here with this milestone, 60 years of this cutting-edge work around nuclear energy and ensuring as well uh, that we play a role uh, profitably within the medical space where these isotopes are concerned. Of course, clearly, uh, that is a, a, a milestone uh, when we look at where we come from as a country right now. Welcome to the SABC Minister. Give us a sense of how we find you here. How important is it that government rallies behind the work of this reactor? Uh, thank you very much uh, and uh, good morning to the viewers back at home. This is a phenomenal uh, engineering feat. I mean, if you come to think of it as you make the point uh, uh, introduced about uh, 60 years uh, ago. I mean, this is one of the only three reactors that are active uh, on the continent. Of course, the Egyptians are building theirs. I'm sure they'll be active in the next three or, or four years. Two of those are known uh, to the rest of South Africans. That is in Quebec. That is uh, nuclear to power technology. And this is for medical and medicinal uses. I mean, just to put it into context, 20% uh, of uh, cancer detection in the whole world that uses uh, this such type of uh, technology comes from this uh, facility. Uh, they are going to take the molly out now and it has to be used in the next uh, 60 hours. Uh, what they will be taking out in the next uh, 30 minutes, it's going to be in the next 24 hours or so, will be in the U.S., will be uh, in parts of um, uh, the world, Canada, you mentioned all those, and then it will be doing uh, those uh, cancer detection. So this is a uh, pioneering work. So what we're looking to do is to ensure that we reinvest uh, in this facility. We go in the next generation of reactor. We are going to have a multi-purpose uh, reactor, and this is going to help us uh, to find uh, ways of uh, determining new fuels, how best we can be able to exploit this kind of technology so that we remain at the cutting edge of uh, innovation and science. And South Africa has been a leader, has been a trailblazer 60 years ago, and we want to remain and uh, maintain our status. I mean, if you look at uh, we are dominant on the continent, there's no other person who does it. Uh, we supply uh, um, the, the requirements across uh, the continent, like I said, the major industrialized powers, the biggest economy in the whole world relies on this uh, facility. So we have understated really the role and place of, uh, of nuclear. And like I said, for, for, for purposes of uh, power, it's uh, finding a resurgence. A resurgence in that uh, we are going to small modular reactors. And we want uh, NEXA to play that role, that part uh, in the enrichment of uh, uranium, the production of uh, participation in the nuclear fuel cycle. And uh, this facility is best place to do that. One of the most advanced in the whole world 
I want to emphasize, not just on the continent, in the whole world. The major industrialized powers, they are relying on us. So, so some of the best scientists, the best minds are found here, and that's why we need to invest in this facility. Yeah, 60 years of cutting-edge work uh, where this technology is concerned. I'm going to bring uh, Mr. Nichols into the conversation with us this morning to just give us a sense of how uh, we find the board also coming through to support the work of Nexa. It's been 60 years. Uh, there have been those challenges uh, that you've experienced as well, but we're looking at a celebration today uh, looking at uh, this re reactor here today. Yeah, I, I, I think that, that, that you mentioned that the, board, the state of, of Nexa as a whole. Um, about five or six years ago, Nexa was in a bit of a, uh, a mess, um, and it wasn't helped by, by um, uh, COVID-19 because of interest, COVID-19 stopped airplanes, and if this, the stuff we're making here didn't get to the market inside a day or so, it wasn't any use. So we had a big commercial problem. We've largely fixed that. We're now it's exceeding our targets for the last three years, or this year and the last two years. Um, and I think we're, we're looking forward to Nexa moving from just being in a survival mode that essentially has been where it's been for the last 10 years or so to growing into the new uh, elements of the nuclear cycle as a whole. Clearly this reactor and its replacement, the multipurpose reactor, which has been approved by, by Cabinet, which we, we should be going to the marketplace in the next few months, hopefully with the request for proposals. Um, will keep us in that field, but there is a wider field of us going back to the roots of Nexa in terms of doing um, uranium processing, uh, looking at reactor technologies and, and moving on in that area. All right, so thank you very much for your time and really everything of the best where today is concerned. It is a celebration uh, here, Leanne, uh, various of those role players outside ready uh, to really go into reflecting on the 60 years of uh, this entity here. Uh, right now, you find us at the pool area. This is where the magic is happening. For uh, just a short while, I'm going to ask Leanne uh, to just take you down and show you what is happening right now. This is the reactor at work and this is where uh, the medica medical isotopes are produced here, moving into various of these facilities, universities as well, like Yosef Makato Medical University, you find them uh, benefiting from some of these isotopes uh, that are part of the work that Nexa has been doing for 60 years, where this reactor is concerned. Of course, uh, we're here uh, throughout the day, and we'll keep you posted on the work that has been done, where this reactor is concerned, but also looking forward to the celebrations later on with the minister in attendance as well.